Hello, it's me, your favorite little YouTube white boy, Ethan Nestor. Hi. <laughs> I have a history of not being the smartest person in town. I don't speak well. I can't do good math. I can't even read very well. So today, I thought that we would just do a common sense test. See what happens. Now, I want to say that this is not an IQ test. When I looked up a common sense test, most of the things that came up were IQ tests. This is not an IQ test. This is common sense. Okay, when... <laughs> this is off to a bad start. Do you have common sense? When does February have only 27 days? It's every four years, right? Every leap year? Is every... Is sleep here every four years? I think so. Next. On fire. <laughs> I didn't even read your. You're on fire. What do you do? Stop, drop, and roll. And then you call 911. And then you're panicking the whole time, but you just try and not show it. Because he's so handsome. You don't want him to see you panicking. A Nigerian prince sends you an email asking that you send him a few thousand bucks. In return, he will share his vast riches with you. Your response? Well, obviously, he's in trouble and he's going to pay it back in dividends. <sighs> well, that's an offer I can't refuse. See you soon. MoneyGram or Western Union? Always oh, Western Union. Doesn't royalty have some money in the bank? Why is he asking me? Okay, but this is the last time I'm sending you money. Doesn't royalty have some money in the bank? Why is he asking me? You open your laptop one morning and find a trail of ants having a party on your keyboard. What do you do? Fucking light the house on fire. Scream as loud as possible and chuck it across the room. Wrap it up and ship it back to the manufacturer. I have a warranty. I'll put out ant traps around my laptop tonight. I should stop eating cupcakes while I use my computer. It's between these two, I would say. Well, also maybe this. But I think if you try and do just like a preventative thing first, then maybe that'll be good enough. And then you don't have to send your laptop back and then not have a laptop. But then you could do that last if that doesn't work. You get a prescription from your doctor with instructions to take first to 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 with instructions to take the first pill now. When is now? Tomorrow? Wait, no. Tomorrow? Now? You get a prescription from your doctor with instructions to take the first pill now. When is now? You take the first pill now. You take it now. Right? Because otherwise, your doctor would say, I was prescribed medication fairly recently, and they did say, they were like, take this starting tomorrow. So they, if they wanted you to take it starting tomorrow, they would say, take it starting tomorrow, right? We're saying now. Which of the following countries does not have 4th of July? All of these... Well, all of the... Well, see, I think they're trying to trick me. Everywhere has the 4th of July. But are you talking about the holiday? Because then it would just be the United States when we celebrate our Independence Day. But I mean, everywhere has the 4th of July. You're driving down the highway and drop your phone between the door and the side of your seat. Your first reaction is to overcorrect and flip the car. So then the phone comes out of the slit and it falls back into your hand. So you continue to text and drive. Open my door, letting my phone, letting me reach my phone more easily. While you're driving, you're going to open your door. Yeah, that's good. Unbuckle my seatbelt, wedge my hand between the seat and the door and try to drive with one hand. I mean, you shouldn't do that, but that is probably what I would do. <laughs> Weep that I won't be able to check Twitter on the way to work. We're going to calmly pull over before reaching for my phone. Luckily, you recovered your phone earlier. Too bad on the road. Too bad the road on your way to work is flooded up ahead. What are you thinking? I've had to drive in some flooded areas recently because California is getting a lot of rain and Southern California is not equipped for rain. Just a little water, nothing my car can't handle. My tires are made of rubber and rubber floats. If I drive really fast, the water won't have time. Exactly. You know, they say Jesus could walk on water. He couldn't, he was just hydroplaning, okay? He could just run really fast. We will have to find another way to work. It's late and you have to work early tomorrow. Your friends are going to an awesome party and offer to pick you up. What do you do? This isn't really common sense, right? Okay, but I'd better be home early. I don't even respond. I'll be ready in five. Well, if they're driving, I don't want to be rude, right? 
This isn't common sense. I mean, their answer, the, the answer that they want is I don't even respond, but that's up to personal. You could go to a party and come back at a decent time. One, two, four, eight. The obvious next number is 16 because it's doubling every time. You just finished grocery shopping for the weekend, but it looks like all of the checkout lanes are really long. What do you do? Take my card to another store to pay for it. That's not how that works. Throw up my hands in Pete defeat and go hungry for the week. I'll shout, do you people even know who I am? That's what I would do as a YouTuber. I'll use one of the self checkout lanes. I mean, it, uh, it, well, hold on though. How many groceries do we have? Cause depending on the grocery store, also morals, in my opinion, Depending on the grocery store, you can only take a certain amount of items through self-checkout. Also, if I have a big ass cart, even if they don't have that that limitation, if I have a big cart full of groceries, I'm not going to self-checkout because I feel like an asshole. Because self-checkout should be, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, in my in my opinion, I think should be people for people who has have less items so then they don't have to stand in line when they're like, I'm just trying to get some milk. I can just scan it real quick and go. If you're going to a grocery store and you have a big cart full of items, don't go to self checkout because that's for the people that have small amount of items. Okay, thank you. Some months have 31 days, others have 30, but how many have 28? One of them, February, which is I'm currently recording on the 28th of February. Isn't that nuts? When you're playing the slot machines, what's your system to walk away with the most money? Yeah, to not gamble, I mean, is... Yeah. You're taking an important test today and you can't find your lucky charm. What do you do? Freak out, call out sick. Don't be ridiculous. I have more than one lucky charm. There's no such thing as a lucky charm. Again, this isn't really a common sense thing because I don't think that if you believe in luck, or Lucky Charms, or the Lucky Charms guy. What's his name? What's his name? Put it up on screen. That guy, that fucker. I don't think that makes you dumb or not to have common sense. Ever pick up a hitchhiker? Yes, I do all the time. Nope, and I don't plan to. Once or twice, only the friendly looking ones. John Mulaney is hitchhiking on the side of the road. He puts his finger out. What do you do? Hmm? Do you? Hey. Open your door as you're driving by and hit him in the head. Do you B, tell him to go sit over on the bench? Or do you see him and go, oh fuck, that's John Mulaney. <laughs> you're caught in a lightning storm. Your best course of action is to hire, hide under something tall. Get to the lowest spot I can find. Seek shelter in a building, that one. Get to the nearest roof, strip naked, and wave copper rod over my head. That's how Benjamin Franklin invented electricity. He didn't invent it. He discovered it. Right? <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. Do you agree with this statement? Again, this is not really common sense. This is, I don't know, kind of. It really hurts when you bend your arm like that. What do you do? You keep bending it like that. Stop bending like that. It really hurts? Go to the emergency room, I guess. Ugh, you, no, not the emergency, don't do that. Go to urgent care or maybe go to a doctor if you can. Uh, but, uh, but, but what are we classifying as really hurts? I need more context. What's elbow grease putting in hard work? What we fry elbows in. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Hey, if your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? Would you hell yeah? Would you will there be Veer involved? Will there be a bungee cord or a parachute involved? Nope and nope. They want nope and nope. But what do they... Hold on. Context again is important. Are they jumping off a bridge into water? How high is the bridge? Are they jumping off the bridge to escape something? Huh? Whether it be something in the real world or something within themselves. Is there some sort of big blockbuster movie happening and they happen to be a hired and trained stunt professional? It really depends on the situation. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. It's okay, I'm sure you had a reason. That's my answer as the people pleaser. Uh, no, that's fine, I'm sure, I'm sure you're fine. Fool me twice, say hello to my little friend. Fool me once, shame on you. 
fool me you can't get fooled again that's like the sequel to <laughs> fucking <laughs> the fool me movie fool me you can't get fooled again fool me twice shame on me you're driving home and there's a drowned power there's a downed power line bro blocking your path eek what do you do? Drive over it. I got rubber tires. Get out and move it. Nope. Get out and splash water on it. Call the power company. Yeah. Is it legal anywhere for a man to marry his widow's sister? I feel like... The, I feel like the kind of questions that we were getting answered really just took a turn. This is... So a really confusing question. So if we break it down a, a little bit, first of all, overall, it's asking, wait for it. It's asking if he can marry his wife's sister, which technically is not illegal. It's weird. But in this scenario, it's marry his widow's sister, meaning that his widow is his wife but she is now a widow, meaning that the man is dead. So he cannot, <sighs> but this doesn't make sense. The man would not marry the sister because he's not alive. The sister would be marrying the man, which is not legal. You can't marry a corpse slash other stuff. Um, this question doesn't really make sense, but the answer is no. Trust is not given, it is earned. Yeah, I agree with that. But again, this isn't really a common sense thing. That's kind of up for interpretation. Almost done. Did I get everything right? Your sense is 76% common. You're pretty sensible. You tend to keep your wits about you, but like most people, you have a blonde moment every now and again. That's a stereotype. <laughs> so maybe you've blown up a couple of microwaves from heating TV dinner, but I wanna, I wanna know what I got wrong. Let's take another common sense test. So this is an IQ test and I'm not looking forward to it. And I don't think uh, that I should take it. Question one, logical reasoning. It would be this guy. This is interesting. Wine. Da, 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 da. Okay. If Jessica, Elizabeth, and Stephanie in a room all shake hands with each other, how many total handshakes will occur? One, two, four. But wait. Yeah, four. Four. If the population of an alien race doubles every two minutes, how long will it take for the population to grow from 1,000 to 32,000? Every two minutes? Every... Fuck. I'm gonna embarrass myself. Every two minutes? So, two minutes in four minutes is ten minutes. Ten minutes. Eleven lines, four cats, and seven crows have a total of... <laughs> Fuck. 11 lions. That's 33 eyes. So it's not eyes. Four cats. 11, 15, no, 14, seven crows have 14 wings. Yes. The price of an item was lowered by 25%. By what percent must this discounted price be increased to do you go back to the original price? I didn't comprehend a single letter in that the price of an item was lowered by 25 percent what by what percent must this discounted price be increased to go to the original price well it's lowered by 25 percent so you to get it back you would make it 25 percent i'm not dumb am i well i mean i am but mathematical reasoning completed that's gonna be the worst one yet. Okay, here we go. Choose the next number in the following sequence. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, one, one. 
One times one is two. Wait, one, one, two plus one is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus three is eight. Twenty minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five. Okay. <sighs> Pattern intelligence complete. <laughs> Oh, my brain is expanding. Uh, huh? Huh? Oh, it's that. Okay. Uh. What? I am unsure. I guess it would be this. Uh. Uh-huh. Spatial recognition complete. <sighs> okay, we have three more. If you rearrange the letters, Wizard, you get the name of... River? No. Oh, it's Brazil. Which of the four choices is the odd one out? Guess, seek, inquire, demand. I think it's demand. Hip, ankle, shoulder, wrist. Which of the four choices is the odd one out? Knife, fork, spoon, napkin. My verbal intelligence is complete. Submit my answers. Tell me how dumb I am. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I have to pay for it. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I'm not going to. <sighs> but I wanna see. No, I don't wanna. Ah! I don't wanna be tricked. I don't wanna be duped. I don't wanna be duped like this. I won't let the system dupe me. I don't need common- <gasps> I'm using my common sense right now. Hmm? How's that? Huh? I shouldn't pay for this. I shouldn't pay the $2.19 to get my things. And in hindsight, I shouldn't even have given them my name and my email. Even though I don't use that email. I'm using my common sense now. So, editor. And comments section. Hmm? Give me a little bit of something in the comments. Tell me what my IQ is. Wow. <laughs> Could have guessed that, huh? <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if you take a common sense test, what your common sense is. Were you surprised by my sense? Were you... Not surprised. You let me know and have a great day.